This is a Norwegian Armed Forces SR-92 combat ration. Between both boxes it weighs 2 pounds 9.7 ounces or 1182 grams. It contains 3,500 calories total. Pack A has 2,120 calories. Pack B, 1,380 calories. Pack A is your main component. It has two main courses, two packs of biscuits and a pack of raisins, along with various accessories, salt and pepper and sugar. Pack B, this thing has, actually it's printed in English on one side, Norwegian on the other. But Pack B has top spread, beverages, soup, sweets, and a napkin. This 24 hour ration is 27 years old. Let's see how well it held up. We'll check out the A pack first. So, right off the bat, two packs of crackers. They're so stale, they're like, they're mushy. Wheat crackers and then standard crackers, 100 grams each. And a little utensil packet, a little mash box. So let's get the mains out. So that feels perfectly fine. Best before 1995. But look what happened. A 27 year old box of raisins just sitting there. Raisins that are not, you know, in shelf stable packaging. That's to be expected. That's all for pack A. Okay, now for pack B. Oh wow, nice. Another pack of raisins that kind of did the job. These look even worse. Let's see what it may have affected. Nescafe Gold. That feels fine. The mains over here, by the way, are 130 grams each. This says caviar. That's no good. Mackerel and tomato. Best before April 2002. That's pretty incredible. It had a best before date of 10 years. It was built to last. It might actually still be good. With that being said, I doubt it. And here's jam. Oh wow, that's a shame. Look at how that just opened so easily. That's insane. Hold on, there's still tons of moisture still in that pot of jam. Tetley Tea, original blend. Oh, cool. Appleson marmalade. So, orange marmalade, I'm guessing. Oh boy. Citrus drink. That's hardened up. And you get a couple of those. A bunch of beverage bases that are just toast. Tomato soup with croutons. I can only imagine how nice this thing would have been had it been in good shape still. You get two packs of cocoa. And then fruit soup, which feels fine. That makes this entire effort worth it. Along with a special military chocolate only in Norwegian rations. And then a plastic bag for your loose components or to improvise with other things. That's it. Okay, so there's everything laid out. Let's first start off with breakfast. Okay, and for breakfast, we're gonna be starting the day off with a real bang. Got a tube of caviar, codfish eggs, orange marmalade, mackerel and tomato sauce, and a pat of strawberry jam to go along with those wheat crackers and standard crackers, a box of raisins, and some hot chocolate and Nescafe Gold instant coffee. All right, so let's get sat on your tray. Nice, in case. Let's first start off with that coffee. Nice, freeze-dried crystals. 
looking good. And the hot chocolate. That smells okay. A slightly stale and questionable smell. Okay. Sugar cube, salt and pepper, and a sugar packet. Looks to be a multivitamin. Random piece of plastic that just ended up in there that's not part of anything. Okay, so then the raisins. Oh, wow. Looks like something grew on them. Would you like a handful of raisins? Well, they definitely don't look normal. That's why we're going to move right over to this jam, which is like open. I'm not going to eat any. Look at that. It looks fine. Oh, it actually... Oh no, it doesn't smell fine. It smells pukey and metallic with a sweet strawberry smell to it. I need a sip of the coffee. Hmm, well, that's smooth. Somewhat robust. A little bit acidic, actually. That is fantastic coffee. I mean, Nescafe Gold never fails. They always do it right. It's slightly different than the modern version. Or it's just changed over the years. It's a little bit more acidic. The hot cocoa. Smells a little bit stale. You want to sip that very lightly. I'm going to go back to it if I don't get any kind of onset. You got to be careful. You move slowly with it. That seems okay. Creamy, delicious hot chocolate. And a lot like Swiss Miss. Let's see how the mackerel fillets and tomato sauce are. Oh. A lot of liquid. I'm gonna try that out. Doesn't smell inedible. Unfortunately, the mackerel and tomato sauce, that is evidently gone bad. Sort of thing, you feel like the scent particles will stick in your nose and you'll smell it all day. This is fermented. It's not terrible. It's like an acquired taste. Little pieces of orange pulp. A nice fleshy texture. It's different and interesting. I, I love stuff like that. Too bad about the strawberry jam and, and even more so about this. And then for the wheat crackers and standard crackers. Look at that, they're soggy. It's like a sponge cake. Oh. Then these, look how it shrunk. Look. Wow. So those are like a whole meal. Oh, it smells like rot. Oh. It smells like a terrarium. Look at this. It smells like a terrarium with like a dead frog. That right there, those were just like crackers before. They were they were crackers. Now they now it looks like fudge or like bread pudding or something. Yeah, I need an army mocha. With all this going on. It smells like algae or something in a terrarium with a dead frog. I'm getting this enjoyable thing. Actually, here, let me finish this real quick. 
than this. Nice. Look at that. Robust and acidic coffee. I mean, it's oddly acidic, and Nescafe Gold is not usually like that. I believe it's maybe either changed over time or their blend was different back then. The dried milk didn't go bad. That's a definite surprise. And I mean, it's just like a perfect cup of, you know, standard cup of hot chocolate. It's not like super high in quality, but it's a standard, nice, pleasing cup of hot chocolate. Actually, it goes perfectly considering it's very smooth. It goes perfectly with the acidic, you know, instant coffee. Well, that was an interesting breakfast. Just pretty much a cup of coffee and a nice cup of army mochaccino. So I'm going to take it right over to lunch. Okay, and for lunch, our main course is going to be 130 gram freeze-dried beef and potato casserole, some tropical fruit soup, army energy chocolate, some Tetley tea, and then a berry drink mix. All right, so let's get sat on your tray. Nice, in case. Let's first start off with that beef and potato casserole. Couldn't quite tell if there was a hiss or not. Wow, look at that. Peas and carrots. Pretty much a beef stew from the looks of it. It smells a little bit off. You, know, you shouldn't have smell with freeze dried mains, and I didn't really hear a hiss. It looks good, very yellow. just doesn't smell a hundred percent. I mean, it does say best before 1995, so. Freeze-dried food typically lasts longer than, you know, projected dates, but it's one of those things, you gotta be careful. I've actually gotten, oh wow, there's, what is that? Yeah, there's definitely cheese in there. And before I stir that in, Then the tea. I always tend to like my freeze dried mains on the thicker side because you end up having like that thin gravy it tends to thin out the flavor you can always add more but you can't take that water out once you put too much in not bad it says to rehydrate for four minutes so i'm going to close it up give this little bit of taste here it smells okay like and that's a cheese sauce a very strong cheese sauce. It's thick, I think, just on the, the tip end of still being edible. But I'll know for sure after a bite or two. It's then the chocolate. I'm going to try and keep this packaging. Don't know when I'll find one of these again. Looks okay. Wow, that's awesome. That's in great shape. I mean, there's surface bloom, but that's beautiful. And then this, I don't have any hopes of this being in good shape. And this is how I want to check this out. See if this will work this way. That almost looks like ham. Yeah, it's some kind of berry. Maybe 
black currant. Also not going to try it out or mix it. Just, it's, it's just not. Hmm. Oh man, that's actually really good. Yeah, that's black currant. Hmm. Jeez. Oh, that's the way to enjoy it. Maybe I sh shouldn't do that though. A little bit of a permeation there. You can kind of see it. It's just that little bit. Yeah, not going to eat any more of that. Okay, fruit soup. Why didn't I add less than 200 milliliters? Mm, it's still really good, but it could have been thicker had I just added like maybe three ounces instead of way too much. There's like a pulp and it's, I think apple, but flavored that tastes like pineapple. It's delicious. It's not like say RCW fruit soup with the pectin powder. Actually, even if I added only three ounces, I don't think this would be thick, you know, the way that I've had fruit soup the first time. And this is more traditional, actually. And something you can find and buy in stores in Norway. That is terrific. Beef and cheese and potato casserole with red bell pepper. I saw a little piece of that. Peas and carrots. You know, that is still edible. It's unbelievable. It's like super overpowering cheese. Hmm. It's just odd. There's too much cheese. It's like having beef stew, but with an overbearing cheese sauce. And actually, this does not work in there at all, texture wise. I'm not even going to eat that. I'm not joking. Like, I'm putting that, like, over here. Because the last one just got caught on the roof of my mouth. I decided to add a little bit more water to this and mix it in. Let's see if this is any better and less overbearing with cheese. No, it's actually worse. The cheese itself, no joke, is like movie theater nacho cheese. That's what it tastes like. And even more so, since I've added the water, it's... under all that cheese, which is almost like a processed American or cheddar is what it tastes like. Under all that, I just taste a very light onion and that's it. The beef, the peas, the carrots all rehydrated well. The beef is lean and of good quality. If you're a huge fan of cheese, if you're, and I love cheese, it's just, that's too much. Let's try out the tea. Oh, wow, well, it smells like a motel. That slight musty, you know, maybe there's water dripping somewhere smell. Okay, so then, the, the fruit soup. That's awesome. Nice tropical flavor. Not overly sweet. A lot of it settled. So then the, the chocolate. It's in great shape, excellent quality. Dry. What a treat. I'm gonna finish this up, then we'll take it over to dinner. Okay, and we're back with dinner. Lunch wasn't so great. That cheesy mashed potato beef stew is just not quite my thing, but we're going to be giving this fried fish and potato casserole a look. I believe it's Pollock. And if I'm wrong, that's going to force me to eat that entire box of raisins. 
So I hope it's some kind of fish and potatoes, otherwise another packet of hot chocolate, some tomato soup, a citrus beverage base. All right, so let's get sat on your tray. Nice, okay, so let's first start off with that freeze-dried mane. I'm really hoping it's fish. Nice hiss. Oh yeah, that's fish. That's a relief. Even though that's freeze-dried, it's a very strong fish smell. It's pretty much like a fish chowder. Look at there's corn. Looks like some kind of cream sauce. Freeze-dried pollock, peas, and potatoes. Actually, I was nibbling on the chocolate. Bringing some over for dinner. That stuff's awesome. Let's add just a little more water. There we go. This will be perfect. That's well mixed. Let's go ahead and check out that tomato soup. Ooh, that smells like... It's gotta be the croutons. Something's really stale in that pack. Then this, the citrus drink mix, hard as a rock. That looks okay, actually. Hmm, that's fine. I could reconstitute this with hot water, but it just tastes weird. I mean, vitamins or some sort of flavoring that has turned or changed over time. Hmm. This is like a Kendall mint cake almost, but instead of mint, it's lemon, and then it's more granular. Hmm. Wow. That really shouldn't be good at all. And it's, it's not really, but... The idea of it being good at some point in the past. This is pretty much like your dessert. Hmm. Let's see. Seems okay. Wait, let's go for a crouton. Oh my gosh, that's the stalest crouton I ever had. That's what's going on. Clear the palate there a little bit. I wasn't sure what to do. This is ready. Looking good. It's like a fish chowder in potatoes. Mm. That is much better than the last main. I think it held up better. The last one was just on the brink or potentially even starting to get spoiled. The cheese was just too much. This, now this is just right. It's like a US meal cold weather beef stew, but instead of beef, a fairly delicate white fish and then kernels of corn. The fish almost seems fried. I believe that's what it translated. Mm. This held up very well. That was a huge piece of fish. And that hydrated so well that it seemed, almost seemed fresh. It's like you know it's freeze-dried, but it's close. 
man, this is like incredible comfort food. Mm. The flavor balance is perfect. It's very subtle. It's just like an onion and garlic and not too much sodium. And I believe that they got to keep that sodium content relatively low, you know, and it seems like the tomato soup's pretty mild. This is a cold weather ration, pretty much. You know, freeze dried mains, it weighs two pounds, nine ounces. I mean, like, I didn't do the math, but it seems like it would take a lot of water to get this thing, you know, fully rehydrated with the drinks and all. Probably takes at least 70 ounces of water to fully rehydrate everything. The ration was innovative. See that? Two boxes. One says menu one, the other one says menu 12. You got these interchangeable components to make the perfect ration that you want. You know what the menu lineup is. It's like, okay, maybe that B box, you love menu 12. But say like that APAC menu 12, you don't like. But then APAC menu 10 is your favorite. Interchangeable. Then it's complicated and bulky. Probably costs more to produce. Well, I suppose I saved the best for last year. This main definitely makes this entire rash an experience. That's how I feel, even with that bread. That's filling. A couple pieces of fish, like that one over there, that are just a bit tough. But other than that, not bad. So this was a Norwegian Armed Forces SR-92 combat ration from 1992, hence the title. Innovative, but a bit too complicated. I'm drinking hot water out of a cup. Didn't hold up too well, but gotta say, what an experience. I'm gonna save this for display with the raisins. And in like 20 years, I might eat one. This? I'm gonna save this. Well, anyway, this is Steve1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.